Who would have thought after 16 seasons with Dover, we would be in a European Cup semi-final. If we beat Academia today over the two-legged affair, we will be in the Europa Conference League final. I don't know who the likely opponent is going to be. Clermont Foot or CFR Cluj. I'm leaning towards Cluj in the final. If we do win, we head over to Germany to play at VFB Stuttgart's Mercedes-Benz Arena. It's a big stadium, 60,000 people. I don't think we've played anywhere near close to that. Although we probably have, but we've been away from home. We literally played in front of 90,000 people not too long ago. Anyway, in between episodes, we have played two further matches. No defeats. A 0-0 draw with Liverpool, actually a decent result there. And a 2-0 win against Sheffield United. If you look at that starting eleven, you can see where we were putting all of our, our eggs, basically. We are going for Europa Conference League. We've played the most rotated side we could possibly play. The only thing that I didn't want to do was play Magad Ali, but we have too many injuries and fitness concerns in defence, so Ali did have to play in that one. Let's go and head over to Portugal then to play the Academia first leg match. We are pretty much full fitness for the Academia game. Academia, by the way, are a team filled with 15, 16 and 17 year olds because they don't exist, apparently. The only real question mark is Mokhtar. Mokhtar is he's not fully match fit, can only play 75 minutes. I say fully match fit. Um, we, we're not actually fully fit, are we? We are missing our lead striker, so Christians is going to be playing today. And uh, yeah, that needs to, hopefully, Christians can just fill in the gap. 20 minutes played, not a single highlight yet. We've had three shots. Academia yet to even have a shot, let alone one on target. First highlight comes for us. It's Shala. He's hit the post from the corner. Darko's going to hopefully control this and keep this ball alive. Goes off towards the middle. Forster plays it back to Ballo. Forward to Magad Ali. Why is Ballo and Ali so far up still? Shala to Morgan. Ball forward finds Christians. Long range effort from Christians. And a good save from the keeper. Darko from the right this time then. Towards Ballo at the front post. And Ballo gets his headed effort on target. But is easily saved by, I assume, the 12-year-old goalkeeper. The match is starting to come alive. We've got the ball through Basri. Back to Neil Sahan with a yellow card to his name. Not ideal. Plenty of whites in the box. Blah! Ah, Christians is there. Almost. Christians almost scored something spectacular. Still not quite at half time. A free kick in a very good position. It is going to be an Asbazri to take it. Curling effort just goes over the bar. If we could just get some of these chances on target, we've got an XG of over one again. This is the third episode in a row where we are just. We are outdoing our XG, as in our XG is outdoing us, I guess. Um, don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. Let's talk to some people. Basri, I need you to do a thing. I don't know what I said there. I need you to change the game for us. Yes, I do. I agree. That's the only thing we've said at halftime. Done no subs either. Going to keep an eye on Basri's performance. A 6-5 is not good enough. We've had 18 shots. 8 on target. No goals. A 1.7 XG currently. Basri is starting to come back into this game. He's on a 6-7, but we're not doing anything. We're getting no highlights whatsoever. This is going to be the shortest episode in uh, Dover history, I think. Final 15 minutes of the game, and we've got our first chance of the second half. Mokhtar's not going to get there. Do need to be bringing Mokhtar off. He's hitting his 75-minute limit. It's Forster back to Ballo. Forward to Forster again. Here it is, Mokhtar on the right-hand side. Darko collects it back to Forster. Mokhtar again. Ball over the top, finds Christians. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, has to score. He's dinked him. And Loic Christians makes it 1-0 in the Europa Conference League semi-final first leg. We need to have more than one goal. I know this is ridiculous. We've been all over them. We've battered them, absolutely battered them. And we've got one goal to show for it. We need to get more goals. Mokhtar is going to come off. Pedro Castillo is going to be the man to come on. Do we do any other changes? I'm looking at Forster. He's looking nervous. I think we are going to do Forster for Alexandre. Basri as well for Keith. Sure, Keith can play as a shadow striker. Probably a risk doing all three subs there, but we are absolutely dominating them. I want a second goal. Is this going to be it? Darko's cross. Ballos at the back post. Goalkeeper comes out, holds onto that one. Their goalkeeper is on like an 8 rating at the moment. He saves so many chances. We need to get that ball, and we do. Nils de hand to Morgan. Now Shala on the ground, please, towards Keith Wooten. He's not going to get there. And now Academia can potentially come forward with a chance of their own. Wooten is putting the pressure on. It's not Wooten, sorry. It's Shala is putting the pressure on. In the middle, Alexandra intercepts, but it's a great slide. This is all over the place. Darko wins that. Back to Ballo. 
I think we're going to get a second here. I think there's going to be a second goal. Ballo goes all the way back to Martins. Volleys it forward to Magad Ali. Alexandre Ballo and Ali to Morgan on the centre circle. Now Wooten finds Shallow through ball. Christians is in on goal again. This time it calmly passes it past the keeper. It is 2-0. Five minutes left to play the first leg. We are one foot in the door of the Europa Conference League final. I'll tell you what, I am so glad I decided to do a 16th season of the Dover save. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't be in this situation. Loic Christians makes it three, completes his hat-trick, 91st minute. I mean, surely at this point, I know we can throw it away, we've done it before, but surely at this point, we are going through to a Europa Conference League final and our fa final ever season in charge of Dover Athletic. We should have won that by maybe five or six. Much like the Zenit game, much like the match in the previous episode as well. We were the better team. We just don't seem to be taking our chances that well. And looking at the results elsewhere in France, Clement Foot winning 3-2. But it was a very tight game. A penalty and a 93rd minute winner. So that is all to play for. It's looking like, I don't I don't want to say it out loud, but I'm going to do it. And Football Manager is going to punish me because it somehow don't manages to do that. I think we're going to the final. Before we get to play the second leg, however, we do have to play Manchester City in the league. So we'll come back to the other side of that one. And then we will invite Academia to our little Crabble Athletic Stadium for £31,250 in TV rights. Is that it? So we are back the other side of the Manchester City game. And as you can see, we did lose, but we played a hugely rotated side, much like the Sheffield United game. We did as well manage to have a decent amount of chances. 11 shots, 5 on target, and actually of just under 1, but we didn't manage to get that goal. Man City probably should have won by more because we did play pretty badly. Kavic in goal basically held on for us. We're now going to go forward to the second leg of the Europa Conference League semi-final against Academia. And it's basically already decided, isn't it? We're going to a final. So we are going for the same starting lineup as the first leg. And basically, it worked, didn't it? It, it basically worked. Academia are playing a bunch of non-existent children. We should be able to just destroy them. I do want to have a look at their goalkeeper. Because he did play well. But no in this game. Okay, he's 23. He's not awful. He's not amazing. But I was expecting him to be like 12 years old. Even though we haven't had any highlights yet, 10 or so minutes in, we've had three shots already. Academia have had nothing. They've also only got 40% possession. We do have a goal kick and a highlight. Shala to Basri on the halfway line. Plays it back to Ali. Down the left-hand side is Niels to Han. He's not really a left-back, but he can certainly do a job down there. Christians is going to win the header. Basri comes in. And Anas Basri with a headed effort, which is something that I don't think he does too often, makes it 1-0. It's 4-0 on aggregate. It's game over, isn't it? 15 minutes have passed since the goal, and we've got ourselves another highlight, although it's it's with us. I was going to say Academia have the ball, but we've nicked it. Darko just inside his own half, plays it back to Campbell, back to Darko. Now Basri Mokhtar, who should be able to play a full 90 this time around. Darko forward to Christians. Morgan isn't going to get there, and it's now Academia coming forward. Ballo wins the head, though, so we've nicked it back. Basically, they're just not very good. I don't know how they've managed to get this far in the competition. They're not very good at football. Ballo playing it in defence all the way back to Martins in goal. Ballo to Ali. Forward to Morgan. We're doing passing in lovely little squares at the moment, aren't we? It's Nils to hand with loads and loads of space to run into. He's got a couple of options in the middle. Crosses it and Christians is one. And Christians makes it two. His 16th goal of the season. We are not missing him, are we? We're not missing our lead striker. The way Christians has been playing the last couple of matches, Obera is going to find it very difficult to get back into the starting eleven, And which, I mean, do we think we want to give Christians a chance in the final? Is that something we want to potentially do? We are 2-0 up, 5-0 up on aggregate. We've got about four or so minutes left to play the first half. Ali to Morgan to Campbell. He's going to go for a little run. Down the line, finds Shala. Niels to Han, who is doing a lot of work on that left-hand side. Invites Basri forward on the left. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in. Christians' effort is blocked by the defence. Highlights not over. Mokhtar down the right-hand side. Four in the box. Crosses it in towards Shala, and he heads over the bar. Still 2-0. It's probably going to stay 2-0 as we go into the half-time break. Academia did eventually have a shot on target at some point in that uh, first half. Um, don't really know why or when. It wasn't very good, apparently. It was a 0.07. 44% possession. We are just absolutely dominating them. Let's just keep going, shall we? 
I am going to take off complacent Michael Campbell for Alexandre, just because I don't want anybody looking complacent. I want everybody to be top of their game. We've got an early free kick. Darko takes it. It's straight to the goalkeeper. Strange free kick, that one. I think we might be seeing a, just a calamity goal. That's my guess. I think something stupid's going to happen. We've got the ball through Shala. Two minutes into the second half. Christians is there. Controls it well. How has he not scored? How has he not scored that? We've got the ball in our defence. Ali back to Martins. Forward to Ali. Now Ballo. Now Alexandre. Is it going to be 3-0? We are four minutes into the second half. Mokhtar controls it. He's just smashed that forward to Christians. Christians controls it. It's a spectacular save from the non-existent goalkeeper. On the hour mark, not really a huge amount going on in the second half. We've got another chance, actually. Darko with a free kick. It's towards Basri, and Anas Basri gets his second goal of the game and his second headed effort of the game as well. And straight into another highlight. Are we going to make it four? Are we just going to just, just turn on the burners and just make it 4-0? Beat them 7, 8 nil on aggregate. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Rosette with the ball for Academia. First time we've seen them do anything, really. Ballo has it, though, for us. 64th minute. 3 nil at home. 6 nil on aggregate. Conce Sal to Gru on the right-hand side. Back to Conce Sal. Barocca. Isn't that like an after-hangover tablet, isn't it? Uh, Barocca gets it once again. Gru down the line. Correo, who is their top goal scorer and their youngest footballer at 15 years of age. It's still weird to me that he's 15. He started scoring goals when he was 14. It's a ball forward from Morgan to Christians. He's got no support. He has to go it alone, but he's good enough to do it. It's a superb block from the defence. Corner for Darko to take. It's going to be Ballo at the front post. Oh, it's not Ballo. It's Shala. And oh my word, I thought Alexandre was going to score. Mokhtar with a throw. It's. I mean, there's just highlight after highlight at the moment, isn't it? Basri crosses. Shala's not going to bother challenging the keeper for that. So something else is going to go on. I'm looking at potentially doing subs. Shala might be one of the men to come off. And this is down to fitness. I'm also thinking Christians just because I want like Keith to play. What a terrible pass that was by, uh, I think, Darko. It's down the line from Academia, but we're going to get there first. I think there's a goal in this highlight. Just putting it out there, I think this is going to be a goal. Mokhtar with the ball. Down to all... I mean, what a poor pass. What have we... Have we just given up our passing all of a sudden? And they've just awful at passing as well. Mokhtar to Darko. Back to Mokhtar. Lumps it forward. Finds Shala. Controls it well. And there it is. Slear him. Clear him. Don't know his name. Shala makes it 4-0. 7-0 on aggregate. We are going to a European final in our last ever season in charge of Dover. And we're going to an FA Cup final as well. Two substitutions and Fanny and Leandro coming on. Coming off is Shala and Magad Ali, which means Niels Dehan is going to move up to be the inside forward on the left-hand side. Final 20 minutes. I don't even think the subs have taken place yet. Dehan with the ball down the left. He's been tackled. And, I mean, that looked like a perfectly good tackle. Did it not? He's He's got... A, it was a two-footed tackle. It did not look like a two-footed tackle. They're down to 10 men. They are 4-0 down, 7-0 on aggregate. The substitutions have finally taken place. And this is game over now, isn't it? Darko with the corner for us. Niels Dehan is there at the front post. It's a very good save from the keeper. Basri now with the ball for us to Christians through. Ball to Morgan. It's another very good save from the goalkeeper. I think the last three matches that we've seen, I say three matches, three episodes that we've had where we've just been ridiculously good going forward, their goalkeepers have been getting ridiculously high ratings, like 7.5s and above. I mean, their keeper currently on a 7.3. We've got a corner through Darko, final seven minutes. It's Nils Dehan with the headed effort. He probably shouldn't be at the front post. That initially would have been Shala, obviously, but Shala's been substituted off. Two minutes to play of injury time. Are we going to make it five? Mokhtar to Basri. Lumps it all the way over to Victor Leandro on that left-hand side. Loads and loads of space as well. Can he cross it? He does cross it. Christian's there, not going to go for it, though. Groove with a strange clearance. Mokhtar controls it. Off towards the corner flag. Crosses in. Dehan with a headed effort. Goalkeeper comes out, holds on to that. I don't think there was a highlight there. So this is going to carry on. And it has, and we're coming forward again down the right-hand side. It's in towards, um, I guess it was Dehan, it was Dehan. Marcelino, though. Correo, ball lumped upfield. That's all they seem to do. There's no game plan for Academia. It's just smash the ball upfield. Dehan's going to control it on the left. Christians is in the middle. It's fallen to low at Christians. And Christians makes it 5-0, 8-0 on aggregate. And we are definitely going to the final. I mean, we were going to the final after the first leg, let's be honest. Christians is going to probably keep Aubert out of the side. Two goals and an assist. A hat-trick in the in the previous round, uh, round. Previous leg, sorry. 
that I mean that was a performance. Not only did we batter them, we played superbly well. And it will be Cluj in the final. Do they have real players? They they've got a few. Most of them are over 30 by the looks of it. Let's take a look at their main striker then, Mezoros, who's got five finishing. That's that's cool. Dragomir as a centre back, he's not bad. Dragomir is not a bad footballer. He's 29. If he was like 18, I'd be signing him. But he's 29. He's not an awful footballer. Who else we got? Paravan, who again not an awful footballer. Not as good as what we've got to offer, but not bad footballers. He's not very good, is he? And we've got Bertic as well, who, again, he's all right. He's all right. He's not amazing. Just seeing this is their top goal scorer, but for some reason didn't play in the last match. Um, He's, again, he's not amazing. We've also got this man, Bertic, we've already looked at. Sorry, he's got 15 goals. So there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot of goals in this team. This man as well, he scored a few. I am not really seeing why. I, I think we've got a very good chance, everybody. I think we've got a very good chance of winning the Europa Conference League. And I genuinely have no idea where those two performances have come from. He's pulled out two 9.5s after his previous outing against Liverpool where he gets a 6-3. I mean, is Christians going to be playing in the final? Do we play Christians or do we play a returning Christophe Aubert who is down here? I mean, they're, they're very different types of footballers, aren't they? They're very different types of footballers. So then, the final ever episode of the Dover Athletic save will be an Aston Villa FA Cup final, a CFR Cluj Europa Conference League final. We can do the double. We can do the double in our final ever season. And just to put it into context, we've not won anything for a very long time. Like, when it comes to winning things, we won the championship when we got promoted. And we won the Vanarama National League and the National League South. That's it. We've only ever won three things in our entire history of this save. I mean, we've won the under-18s Premier Division Cup and the under-18s Division 2 um, and a few other bits, but we've never won anything big and we have a chance to win two very, very big trophies in the final episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll be back with a final episode of Dover and we're going to hopefully win the double. Thanks for watching.